I'm Kevin Smith, the Learning Alias, and I want to talk to you today about the trim curve fit and the construction options under the category Curve on Surface Trim. By default, if we select Katia V5, this is set to 0 0.005 millimeters. So I have this surface here, and if we put on some shading, we can see that the surface dips down right here, and it bulges out over there, and it has a fairly non-homogeneous transition between those two regions. So we have a pretty complex surface. I'm going to create a flange with the MS Draft tool. Click the surface, and I've done this before, so I know 50 is a fairly good value. And I'm going to say Bezier, explicit control, and I'm going to ask for continuity check and recalculate. And I want you to notice a few things. First of all, we have a gap problem. Uh, it's, a, it's a fairly small gap, but it is a problem. Second, we have two, four, six, seven individual surfaces. And you can see a max gap is at this area, and it's very small, so we should be able to fix it. So let's say I try to move these two CVs. Now, I don't know about moving the end CV, so maybe that's not a good idea. We'll see. I'm going to go to CV Move, pick a very, very small step size, and start moving it around. Yes, we want to kill the construction history. So I'm now moving my left mouse button, and in that direction, it doesn't seem to be getting any better. It only gets worse. I'm going to use the middle mouse button now, and it's the same thing. Right mouse button then. Hmm doesn't seem to be going away. Now, I have done this before, and I can tell you whether we move this CV alone, this CV alone, both of them in unison, whether we use XYZ, whether we use NUV, or whether we use slide, the problem is not going away. So that's, at the very least, uncomfortable. Let's go to check model just to be sure. So all objects, surfaces, only errors will be reported. I'm going to turn everything off except G0 and G1 problems. So we're going to check it. And lo and behold, we have a problem. Well, well, what do you know? And trust me, I've tried this. If we go to the surface and we direct model it, we cannot get rid of this gap. So this will haunt us forever. So the theoretical model is wrong, so the fillet will be wrong. It flows from the theoretical. And considering that we didn't close alias down, it will remember the settings exactly the way we had it last time. So we can just select this and say recover. Lo and behold, now the first thing you notice is we have no more gap issues. The really important thing here to take note is we have one, two, three, four, five, six surfaces, so we actually have one surface plus, and we don't have gaps. And then we go to evaluate, check model, and everything is still off, it's still checking all objects, only reporting errors, and I'm going to check for a max gap and a max tension. Check it, and we have no problem. So this is um, basically what I wanted to show you today, what I wanted to talk about. Again, I've been Kevin Smith, and I wish you a happy day.